going to be a fast track session, so we'll try to give you a gist of understanding the power of three. So I'm going to give you a talk about glimepiride or glyclozide with metformin and voglibose. So the slides are still not moving. <laughs> Something they can do from the back, the slides are still not moving. Ah, oh, yeah, now we are. So just to look at the, the uh, prevalence of diabetes across the globe and especially in India has been high and probably by 2025 we'll be looking at like, you know, like a ticking bomb. And the problem with this prevalence is also added with the inertia that Abhishek was talking about that we don't get to address the right problem at the right point of time because of a lot of physician and clinic and patient inertia coming in. So at this juncture, it is very important that we need to hit the patient with a more stronger combination molecule that can give a all-round kind of an impact on the patient's glycemic profile uh, at the earliest in the first point of contact with the patient. So you can see India ranks number two in the list of the country and there are a lot of patients who are lost to follow up. There are a lot, lot of patients who are diagnosed very late. In fact, uh, there is a research that tells us that the HP1C at which patients get diagnosed is usually more than 7.5 or 8 and they're usually more than 5 or 10 years into the disease if they're not picked up early. So let's look at a case. This is a 48-year-old male patient. He's a businessman type 2 diabetes for three years. He is on metformin. So let's make him a typical Gujarati businessman. And he's got an A1C of 8.4 over the past one year. Now there could be, of course, you could all say that yes, this patient could be getting an SGLT inhibitor, this patient could be given a DPP-4 inhibitor, yes, I all agree to that. But the point I'm trying, to, I'm going to tell you here is, this patient needs a quick glycemic control. That's very, very important. So that we have to prioritize what we want to achieve for the patient at that point of time. Now what does this patient have? He's a patient on hypertension, he's on ramipril. He will obviously say no to insulin, he will obviously probably say no to uh, any expensive medications also. He is overweight, BMI is 29, he is hypertensive, he does not have any cardiac history background, his ECG is normal. So now beyond metformin, what do we give to this patient? So now there could be one approach, okay, let's add a sulfonylurea, let's add an SGLT, let's add a DPP-4. But with a fasting of 182, 298 and 8.4, a subset of patient where I want to achieve a quicker glycemic control, the patient is still adapting into lifestyle change, he's still a high-end carb eater. He is a two-time, uh, you know, in both of his meals, he's consuming good amount of carbohydrates. His lipids are good, so his cardiovascular profile is good at the moment, although he's hypertensive. Uh, so this would be a right category of patient of initiating on a triple drug combination of glimepiride, metformin, and uh, Bobbibo. So as per the guidelines, you see here the early combination therapy by the ADA, the RSSDI 2022 as well as the ACE guidelines have said that early combination of pharmacotherapy should be considered. Beyond metformin, of course, we should be using a glimepiride, glyclozide. And then why voglibose? Because if you give it this with the major meal, then you're having a control on the postprandial blood glucose as well. So now do we have any strong evidence on this? This is one observational multicentral retrospective study. And in this, this triple drug combination of one milligram glimepiride with 500 milligram of metformin and 0.2 milligram of voglibose was found to improve the effectiveness. It, it was found to improve the glycemic uh, control in the subset of patients on which it was tried. So this is the from the baseline to day 30 to day 60 to day 90, and you can see there would be a significant improvement. By the by, by our experience, we know that. As a molecule, sulfonylureas, whether it's glyclozide or glimepiride, they're fantastic hypoglycemic agents. So they, they, they cause fantastic control of blood glucose. Yes, you need to educate the patient on incidences of hypoglycemia, synchronize their medication with the right meal. That is also very important. And educate the patient uh, on, on uh, other possible side effects of, say, voglibose, et cetera. But keeping all that in mind, if you want a quick glycemic control and a sustained control in a patient, who has been diagnosed late, then you would really want to initiate this patient on a triple drug combination. Again, uh, this is another study that looks at the assessment of clinical experience of triple drug fixed dose combination of this uh, glimepiride, metformin, and uh, uh, Vogli-Bose uh, in a, a retrospective study. And uh, 
Overall, the study demonstrates that this triple drug combination was effective in reducing the HP1C and was well tolerated. It also improves the compliance in the Indian patients in type 2 diabetes. So cost factor becomes one and the compliance because you're able to give this you know, in one single pill. So the compliance becomes a factor in our day-to-day -day practice. So now do we have an expert consensus by Dr. A.K. Das et al. Uh, there is an expert consensus on this triple drug combination. Uh, most of the healthcare providers believe that this triple drug combination can potentially improve the glycemic control and can delay or postpone the microvascular complications and cardiovascular complications. This is, of course, what we have learned from our age-old UKPDS trial, DCCT trial, that the earlier you hit the disease, the better metabolic memory that you give. And you also combat a lot of inertia out of this by giving a good triple drug combination, a powerful combination early on in the disease and attaining quicker glycemic control, giving a better metabolic memory, preventing the micro and the macrovascular complications. So now with this kind of a patient, if we are giving him a glimiparide, and remember you can also give this once daily because glimiparide has a half-life of five to eight hours, so this could be even, you know, you could give a higher dose of glimiparide with a major meal of the day with a metformin and wobbly bows. It would really give him a sustained glycemic control post that meal as well. So the postprandial spikes can be taken care of. And uh, uh, the expected outcomes, I think all of us have used glimiparide metformin through and through and as well as wobbly bows. But the concept of giving it as a combination does improve the efficacy and the overall control as a whole. The other advantage here is as well as that when you are really giving a four drug or a five drug combination sometimes, which we do use, although they are beyond our guidelines, but nowadays we do use you have a glimiparide metformin, and you do want to also add an SGLT and a DPP-4, which comes in combination. We do use that, right, beyond, beyond in our practice. Uh, that delays insulinization to some extent, but that's a different topic. But in this category of patient, this is what I actually do in my practice, is that you can give this triple combination twice daily in divided doses with the major meal and have an SGLT added up or a DPP-4 added up in the other time of the day. So three times a day you get a very sustained glycemic control. And I've done CGMs. I, I could not kind of identify that patient out of the CGM graph, so I could not show the CGMs here. But these patients do have a very good glycemic profile in terms of their variability. So this expert opinion has given us a lot of insights, you know. So it says primarily the targeting should be on the postprandial hyperglycemia, so the secretagogue effect as well as the Voglibose effect. Early intensification will be the key. Target patients will be patients having an A1C value of more than eight, but the judicious use, of course, take care of hypoglycemia, especially during the fasting period and in uh, patients who are vulnerable to hypoglycemia. The combination of glimiparide, metformin, and voglibose has been found to be CV neutral. We know the CV neutrality study of glimiparide and uh, can be also combined with OADs like gliptins or S SGLTIs. And this triple drug combination will produce a weight neutral effect. <coughs> if added with an SGLT metformin, it might even give a weight loss effect. And most importantly, it is pocket friendly for the Indian patients. So let's keep faith on the power of three. Thank you. Very well.